it is a very interesting project. We have tiles, we have floor, we have kitchen, and another floor, this carpet. So tiles, here is too high, and all house sloping to the side too much. So I'm going to remove this tile by this entrance and leave it this style in the kitchen as well because kitchen if i patch a little bit front it's gonna be level with this hardwood so about tile tile i'm just removing and i will i want to remove this plywood as well and then maybe we don't need too much level because if we have a look it's still you know plywood going up here is too much too very high and this is high too maybe later i will show you with laser so a lot of preparation that room need to put um, plywood or baker board you know almost maybe not almost more than an inch so we will do it so let's go so here is i already removed part of tiles here is still left entrance right here i remove like i want by this um, this entrance so i need to remove plywood here as well but i will check later when i remove this plywood why I'm doing here because you this is this place it's too high if I remove plywood and tile it still be will high so to the doorway it's sloping down but there is the highest I guess place uh, in this area so why I'm removing tiles and plywood here because I want Minimize self leveling compound amount what I have to put it right here. So if I leave it, this plywood, this side has to be level as much as like maybe inch, maybe more. So when I remove it, what I wanna do, I wanna slightly fill up with straight edge this side to this high spot, and then we will see. Maybe this area, when I remove carpet, maybe this area, I will just slightly level with straight edge. Maybe I will fill up with self-leveling compound. So I can say anything before I remove this carpet. So, but most of problem is right here in this area. So I need to, to do it first. So why it's important because when you open the door and come in, floor should be flat. So it's gonna be going to the style overlapping, you know, and that room, it's really, really down. So you see, so here is the carpet and still we have step. Here is a, I will level with baker board like I am doing always. So, okay, I keep going. Here is I put laser. If you see on the middle, we have a green spot. There is a high spot, and uh, all the rooms around the fireplace and the small den it's down a half inch. So also floor is really bad. Some rusty, some holes. So here is the garbage. What I already move out plywood and carpet as well so what here is i brought bring a backer board which is i will install in this room after when i remove carpet and uh, in this um, small den uh, like i said it's one and a half inch down i put three layers of uh, baker board and then and uh, flat with um, uh, other floors so you see i put already baker board on the uh, 
right side um, you see and um, this self-leveling compound I uh, make it slightly uh, ramp before I start level that uh, area here is I am doing uh, remove I am removing this grinder all finish because if you don't remove finish from the hardwood floor and uh, it's a self leveling compound not stick you see I remove it and then to better bonding I gonna put plenty patch everywhere why I have to put plenty patch you see because plenty patch uh, help me bonding the self leveling compound very well to the hardwood and also it fill up whole cracks and no any leaks downstairs so in the right side you see the backer board with the ramp uh, like I said and now I use tripods to install the level this is one area which is I level with tripods you see how nice it I put foam I put silicone on the bottom of foam around the wall and then you see when after leveling you see how it's nice level this is the uh, Sometimes I'm doing very good, you know, I like it. <laughs> so here is the entrance, like I said, um, there was, uh, I left tile in this 3H, I level it. All uh, tiles I grind uh, a little bit, remove the uh, shiny uh, stuff from the top and then I put plenty patch. Why I do put plenty patch? it's if if you grind the tiles it's not really important but i just fill up with plenty patch the style to minimize uh, uh, imperfection you know holes this floor and um, it's gonna be less glue when i i use less glue when i install this uh, uh, hardwood floor over the style because you know a self flame compound much cheaper you know so you see here is the everything prepared for installation also I level like I said between tile and hardwood was a little spot and I just level it with self leveling compound and it's easy to install now this is the hardwood which is I have to install first of all like I'm doing always I'm find the straight line on the middle of the uh, house and install this straight line and then I can spread to the one side and another side hold this floor what I'm doing now so also a customer wants to install a uh, hardwood in the bathroom it's not my idea <laughs> don't tell me anything about it why I did that I just did what they want so usually I would like to install uh, tiles there but uh, we did it so before install a uh, hardwood floor over the tile I'm just um, slightly remove uh, some self leveling compound you see the all spots it was filled up with self leveling compound and it's smooth and easy to install a hardwood floor the process uh, so I did um, preparation six days and installation took nine days you see the fridge I moved to the plywood first and then uh, I bought um, one one eight door skin and put it over and then install hardwood under the fridge and put it back so here is the fireplace I did a uh, nice frame I did all like uh, I do nosing here is already finished project if you, if you remember how it was ugly now nice you see how I made frame
ever seen in one level. If you remember, this room was an inch and a half down. Now it's flat. Toilet. Washer menu. Here is another fireplace. I made a um, transition from the same material, like, like I'm doing moldings, as I'm prefabbing. Nice, huh? Isn't it? Here is another room. It was very, very low. <laughs> now. I'm really happy what I did. And customer also. <laughs> so here is the example how you can renovate your old house. If you have any question, don't hesitate. Ask me. I will always answer you. See you in next video.